voice. We've got the props. We've got the costumes. Fetch the camera. Let's make movies. Don't oh, careful. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Well, don't worry, because you're going to love what I've got planned next. Come on! It says here, Sooty, that many silent movies featured scenes of great danger. <coughs> what? You're going to climb to the top of the ghost train? <gasps> oh, to set up your first stunt. How brave! Get ready, sweep. Lights. Camera. Sooty scrapes. Take one. are going to love this. It's Richard. Oh, hello, you two. What are you doing here? <laughs> this is going really badly. Mr Slater's grandchildren are being really miserable. Where's Sooty? He should be able to cheer these children up. Oh, I'm sure he'll drop in soon. Well, I hope so, because the way this is going, I'm going to get a sack. Well, children, this is the ghost train, where the truly unexpected happens. Oh, oh Richard, are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> Many silent movies featured scenes of great suspense and excitement, such as a lady being strapped to a railway line whilst the handsome hero tries to stop an oncoming train. Ha-ha! <laughs> Three, please! Right, boys and girls, you are really going to enjoy this. Or maybe not. <sighs> Help! Help! Right. Got that, Sooty? Good. It was a good idea to film that part before we set the train going. It's very dangerous to play on railway tracks, you know. Action sweep! <laughs> and perfect. Cut! Turn the power off, sweep! <laughs> An amusing incident happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, poor Richard. I think he's feeling the strain. Or should that be feeling the train? <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Sooty? Just a few more shots to do at the caravan, and the film is finished. <gasps> Quick, let's go. <laughs> Richard, Mr Slater's grandchildren don't look very happy, do they? That's because everything's gone wrong today, thanks to you lot. Mm. At least I've got my wonderful film, The Broom Handle, to save the day. Sooty, is your silent movie ready? Oh, I hope this works. Right, children, as a special treat, I'm going to show you a film. <laughs> a silent film. From the olden days. Quick, Sooty, just start it up. Oh, thank heavens for the broom handle. The serious scrapes of sooty? What's this? Oi, what's happened to the broom handle? It got swept away. Oh, no. Well, this better be good.
Peter. Hello, sir. Yes, your grandchildren are having a great time. Listen. Oh, thank you. Oh, he's gone. Well done, Sooty. But what happened to my copy of the broom handle? It got a bit soggy. What do you mean? Oh, no. Actually, it doesn't matter. Because I have another broom handle. And this one works perfectly. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. Bye-bye. Oh, hello, everybody. Um, Mr Slater's ordered a brand new building. And guess who he's put in charge of the opening ceremony this afternoon? Yes, me. <laughs> Mind you, it doesn't look anywhere near finished. Wonder where the builders are. Oh no. It's you, is it? You're the builder. You're an expert. <laughs> We've heard that before. Sweet, be careful. I've got to wear this suit for the opening ceremony and I don't want to get it dirty. Excuse me. Is this building actually going to be ready by this afternoon? <laughs> I'll have to ask the foreman. Ha! <laughs> and I wonder who that is. <laughs> you thought I said I didn't want to get dirty? I didn't want to get dirty! So you must be the foreman. How do you do? Never mind about how do you do, Sooty. Just look at me. I've been chosen to perform the opening ceremony this afternoon because Mr Slater says this new building really suits my personality. What's it going to be? A museum? A library? An art gallery? <laughs> it's a toilet! <laughs> Just make sure it's ready for this afternoon. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. How's it going then, boys? Is it going to be ready in time? <coughs> You're expert. Yeah. Yes, I know, I know. Actually, this is pretty good. In fact, uh, <laughs> I'd say it's pretty expert, to be honest. Congratulations, Sooty. <coughs> All right, less of the bowing, big head. It's not that good. Hang on a minute! My tie! You've cemented my tie to the wall! It's not funny! Don't, don't. I said I didn't want to get dirty. I didn't, but thanks to you two, I am. Again. And what are you going to do about my tie? <laughs> hello. Oh, hello, boys. Richard's being a right grumpy, Trousers. He says he's only got one more suit left, and if he gets that, Dirty, he'll have nothing to wear for the opening ceremony this afternoon. <laughs> you finished all the building now? <gasps> would I like the grand tour? I certainly would, boys. <laughs> Toilet should probably have a new toilet. <coughs> hmm. <laughs> yes, you have forgotten the toilet, you nitwit. <coughs> what are you going to do now? You're running out of time. You left the toilet in the storage yard. <coughs> oh no! But you can use magic to bring the toilet to us super fast. Oh, good idea. One, two, 
three. journey and you should be fine. Well done, Sooty. That's it, Sooty. Keep concentrating. Don't let anything distract you. What? <laughs> Sooty, wait for us! Get away from me! Can't you see I'm on the toilet? <laughs> Come on! There isn't a moment to lose! <laughs> Sooty, stop him! What was I doing in there? Waiting for a number 47 bus. What do you think I was doing in there? I fell in after being thrown off a toilet, which I suspect had got something to do with you. Ooh. The grand opening of the new toilet block is in half an hour. <coughs> oh, no. If I don't get this suit dry, Mr Slater's going to sack me for sure. <laughs> You like my farm? I know. It's a knockout, isn't it? Right. First job. You three, go to the barn and bring the straw for all the animals. And Sue, will you help me to walk the ponies? Oh, yes, please. I love ponies. You do? Mm. Oh, that's brilliant. Ooh, I could jive with a jelly baby. <laughs> OK, everybody. Off to work. <laughs> Right, Sooty, we need to load this straw into this trailer. So when I tell you to, you pass it down to me, I'll put it in the floor. <laughs> Not yet. When I tell you to, you pass it down to me, I'm there. <laughs> Why didn't you wait for me to say? It'll take ages. Is what I call the final straw. <laughs> oh, 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 this is brilliant! In fact, I could crush a grape. <laughs> That's knockout, Sue. <laughs> What I'm doing. <laughs> you don't think I do? Ha! Huh, I'll show you. You're looking at Mr. Slater's next chief executive. Oh, yes, I'm on the way up. I've spent my life going round in circles, but no more.
plants. This is so cute. Look at those little ones. How old are they then? Three weeks, Sue. How lovely. Sorry, we were just uh, parking the tractor. Right. Now then, my lovelies, the next job. Sue and Sweep, you come with me to the cow shed. Okay. Sooty and Richard, you can feed the chickens. I know you're going to be smashing at this. I'm so excited. Ooh, I could wrestle an action man. Come on. <laughs> Right then, Sooty, let's feed these chickens now. When I tell you, flick the grain at the... the... <laughs> Not at me. When I tell you to, flick the grain at the... <laughs> flick the grain at the chickens. Wait for me. Come on, I'll get them round here. Chick, 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 chicken. Chick, 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 chicken. Now, Sooty, flick the grain. Now everyone, meet Daisy. <gasps> Hello, Daisy. Hello. Hello. Right, old cocker. It's the last job. Oh, I want you to wash Daisy's udders, and when she's all nice and clean, then you can milk my lovely little moo cow. Oh, she gives the best milk ever, don't you, Daisy? <laughs> Ooh, I could test drive a Tonka. <laughs> <laughs> Right, gang, this is the last job, so it's got to be perfect. Mr Slater's finally recognised my true worth, and all I have to do is... <laughs> ...wash the muck off a cow. <laughs> all right, all right. Very funny. You'll be showing me much more respect when I'm a top executive. Oh, Richard's becoming a right smarty-pants. Don't worry, you'll teach him a lesson. Oh, good. Come on, Daisy, let's get you cleaned up. Easy, Wizzy. Let's get busy. Where's my bucket? Ah! <laughs> Thank you. You'll be laughing on the other side of your face when I'm in business with Mr. Slater. Mm. Easy, Wizzy. Let's get busy. to the dance competition. <laughs> well, what dance are you going to do? Tap dancing. Oh, that's not tap dancing, sausage brain. I've heard of the man in the mirror, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> well, you lot can laugh as much as you like, because I am going to enter the disco dance section of the competition, representing Mr Slater. Ooh. And what's more, I'm going to win. Oh, but Richard, you can't dance a step. I've taken care of that. I have one of our celebrity judges coming over this afternoon to give me a personal dance lesson, and I'm itching to get started. You're going to see a new man of grace, style and sophistication. Dame Helena Persona, oh, thank you. No problems, Richard. I'm always keen to encourage people to learn how to dance, and I can't wait to get started. So come along. <laughs> chop, chop. Chop, chop. Right, come on, gang. Let's slip one. And stretch to the side, and over to the other, and stretch to the side, and down to the earth. Good. Richard, Richard, come and join us. I'm on my way. <laughs> oh, no, not you three. <laughs> now then, to be a really good dancer, you need to be fit, agile and dynamic. <laughs> Let's get started. Oh, and reach for the stars and dance. And reach 
for the stars and down. And reach to the stars and down to your toes. Come on. <laughs> I'd rather not do the down to your toes. He won't do it. Why not? Because his trousers are too tight. <laughs> oh, come along, Mr. Professional. Show us how it's done. And reach for the stars and down to your toes. Oh, that's torn it. <laughs> right. Now you're all thoroughly warmed up. He's thoroughly worn out. <laughs> well, I'm raring to go. I can't wait to get started, you know. I was born to dance. I've always known it. And when my mother saw me in the school nativity play, she knew it too. Right. Well, all I need to see at first is you just moving along in time to the music. Moving along with the music. I thought I'd just start with some break dancing. With moves like that, the only thing you're going to break is your nose. <laughs> I think you'll find your shoelaces are tied together. Hey? Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm not sure quite how that happened, but never mind. Being a professional dancer like us, things can get tough. Yes, well, Richard, why don't you just try again? Now, just imagine yourself gliding across the room, creating a real impact for the crowd. Do you think you can do that? Yes, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> Gliding across the floor, creating a real impact with the crowd. Watch this. <laughs> yes, you're right, Sonny. He certainly <laughs> did make an impact. <laughs> How was that? Well, Richard, I really think we should perhaps try something else. Now, listen, love, if you really want to win this competition, it's very, very important you strike a chord with the audience. Right. Let's go. <laughs> he really has struck a chord. <laughs> the competition's about to start. So before I win the disco dance section, I better introduce the judges. <laughs> it's showtime. To Slater's Dance Competition! Please welcome your judges, Ramsbottom! Oh, Helena! And Butch! All right. Yes, hello. And now it's time for our first section, ballroom dancing, so take your partners, please! <laughs> Lad. Oh. Helena! Oh, Sooty, darling, you were brilliant. You were like the prince of the ballroom holding your very own princess. It was magical, simply magical, in fact. I loved it. Oh. Nine. Butch! The footwork could have been better. Oh. Oh. Some of the positioning of the hands looked ugly, but. I'll give it a nine. Now it's time for our next category, ballet dancing. Will all our competitors take your positions, please?
Let's see what our judges thought of that. Ramsbottom! Not bad, lad. Nine. Helena! You were like two stallions of dance. I loved it. Nine. Butch! The footwork could have been better. Oh, honestly. Some of the positioning of the hands looked ugly, but I'll give it a nine. Yeah! And now it's time for the disco dancing section. So will all competitors take your places, please? This is my category and I'm itching to win it. Such a great dancer! You put it in powder in his costume! <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, sir. Welcome to Slater's Fitness Centre. My name is Amy. How can I help you? May I borrow a towel, please? Of course. One towel, please. One towel, please. <coughs> what are you three doing here? We're helping out Mr Slater. <coughs> is it raining? No, it is not raining. And anyway, I'm going to dry off by giving my vascular system an extreme workout by pumping my glutinous muscles on the pneumatic training machine. I'm going in the gym. Could you please furnish me with a beverage that will replenish my body salts? Get me a drink. Thank you so much for helping us out today, guys. Oh, it's a pleasure. Now, what would you like us to do, Amy? There's an aerobics class in five minutes. Who would like to do that? Sweet! Not aerobatics, aerobics! Oh, don't worry, Amy. I'll do it. Thank you, Sue. We need someone to help out in the gym. <laughs> OK, City, you can do it. What do I want you to do? Just get that funny man his drink. That's it, children! Jump! Up! 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 Keep going! Up! <laughs> and let in the air! Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and this! Well. Do I want my 
drink now? No, no, just put it down there. Down there. Just put it down. Thank you for coming to Slater's Fitness Centre. Have a nice day. Good morning, sir. Welcome to Slater's Fitness Centre. My name is Amy. How can I help you? May I borrow a towel, please? <laughs> is it raining again? No, it's not raining, and I'm freezing. Would sir like to try the outdoor jacuzzi? You will feel amazing. The hot bubbles, you are going to feel so relaxed. That sounds wonderful. Excellent. Sooty, would you take this gentleman to the outdoor jacuzzi for me, please? Sue, would you like to take the yoga class? Oh, certainly, Amy. <laughs> and Sweet, can you get the customer his drink for me, please? <sighs> ah, this is nice. Oh, hello, Sooty. Do I want you to turn it on? Well, of course I want you to turn it on. Now that is lovely. Here's my drink. Oh, sweet! You've dropped it in the water. No worry. You'll get it. Oh, sweet! Oh, sweet! What are you doing down there? Oh, oh, sweet! Sweet! Oh, sweet! Oh, you've got it. Oh, well done. What's the matter? You can't get out. Oh, oh, hang on, look. I can see there's something caught on your foot. It's all tied around here. <laughs> oh, well, what's this chain? You don't know. Pull it. I think it's stuck. Pull it hard. All right, then there we go. Oh, no. It's the plug. Good morning, sir. Welcome to Slater's Fitness Centre. My name's Amy. How can I help you? May I borrow a... Oh, you look a bit washed out. <laughs> you do look a little bit pale. I'd recommend you have a spray tan in our new spray tanning booth. It'll give you a lovely, healthy glow. Oh, that would be lovely, Amy. Sooty, please can you take this gentleman to the spray tanning booth for me, please? Sweet, can you make sure that the tanning solution is all topped up? Be careful, the decorators left all their equipment in the control room. Right, Sooty, so all I have to do is stand in there and you'll turn on the spray tan? Ha <laughs> Got it! <laughs> right, I'm going in. Turn it on then, Sooty! Ah, that's it. I'm going to get a beautiful golden tan. <laughs> Everything okay with that funny customer? I think he's coming out now. I can't seem to find a mirror anywhere. How do I look? Well, you've certainly got a bit of colour now, Richard. You know how I said I was going to change my body? Yes, I did say that. Well, I have. Oh, thank you, Sooty, and thank you, Amy. People are certainly going to look at me very differently now. Bye-bye. Good morning, madam. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>